Welcome to Satu Carry Online Nursing Channel. This is mock test series for nursing officers. Those who are going to write uh, the following exams like ESI, AIMS, GIPMAR, BFU, HS, West Bengal, Public Department Service Examination, and GMCH Chandigarh. This video contains 50 questions. This will be helpful for you to give the upcoming nursing officer exams in a very effective way. Before going to today's video please subscribe to satu carry online nursing channel if you have not yet subscribed i am satish rajamani nursing is my profession teaching is my passion let us see the first question of the day hospital acquired infection is called option a droplet infection b communicable disease c nosocomial infection and d is accessory infection the right answer is nasocomial infection. Question number two. A function of nursing management is option A planning, B networking, C administration, and D is marketing. The correct answer is planning. Move on to third question. Kits supplied at subcenter is option A, kit E type, option B, kit B type, option C, midwifery kit, option D, option B and C. Let's see the right answer for this question. Option B and C is the correct answer. In subcenter, they are giving kit B and midwifery kit along with this kit A is also available fourth question among the types of lochia the lochia serosa is option A white in color B red color C pink and D green the right answer lochia serosa is pink in color question number five the most universally recognized facial expression is option a pose lip b smiling c sticking out your tongue b raising your eyebrows the universally recognized facial expression is Option B, smiling. Question number 6. Normal serum potassium level in milli equivalent per liter is Option A, 2.5 to 3.5 B, 3.5 to 5 C, 5.5 to 6.5 D, 6.5 to 7.5 The Normal serum potassium level is between 3.5 to 5.5 milli equivalent per liter. Question number 7. All of the following are long bones except option A, femur, B, humerus, C, tibia, D, scapula. The right answer except scapula all other three bones like femur, humerus, tibia belongs to long bone type. Scapula is not a long bone. Question number 8. The medical term for cold sweat is known as Option A. Diaphoresis B. Hypoidrosis C. Anhydrosis D. Halitosis the medical term for cold sweat is known as the right answer is diaphoresis excessive amount of sweating question number nine first pair of teeth to erupt in children is option a canines b molars c incisors d caspers the first pair of teeth to erupt in children is the right answer is incisors. 
Question number 10. The masked garment is used for treatment of option A. Acute respiratory distress. B. Hemorrhagic shock. C. Incontinence of urine. D. Paraplegia. The masked garment is used in the treatment of hemorrhagic shock. Question number 11. N-acetylcysteine is an antidote for poisoning due to option A. Datura B. Propanolol C. Paracetamol D. Aspirin N-acetylcysteine is an antidote for poisoning due to acetaminophen that is paracetamol. Question number 12. Which of the following indicates deep coma in an adult patient as per Glasgow Coma Scale? Option A, 0, B, 3, C, 9, D, 12. Deep coma in adult patient as per Glasgow Coma Scale will have the score of 3. Question number 13. Sets bath refers to option A. Preoperative bathing of the patient. B. Applying heat using tepid water to the perineum or rectal area. C. Bathing in the sitting position. And D. Is fermentation of the knee joint. Sets bath refers to option B. Applying heat using tepid water to the perineum or rectal area. Question number 14. Mycotic abscess are due to option A bacterial infection, B viral infection, C fungal infection and D is mixer infections. Choose the right answer. Mycotic abscess are due to option C fungal infection. Question number 15. Generalized decreased bone density is due to all except option A osteoporosis, B osteomalacia, C hypoparathyroidism, and D is multiple myeloma. Generalized decreased bone density is due to all the three things like osteoporosis, osteomalacia, Multiple myeloma. Hypoparathyroidism is not the right answer. But hyperparathyroidism cause generalized decreased bone density. Question number 15. 16. A 17 year old student complains of lack of interest in studies for last six months. He has frequent quarrels with his parents and has frequent headaches. The most appropriate clinical approach would be Option A. Leave him as normal adolescent problem. B. Rule out depression. C. Rule out migraine. And D is rule out oppositional defect disorder. The right answer is rule out depression. Childhood onset depression may result in such problems uh, like lack of interest in studies, a frequent fighting with the parents and also result in headache. Option B, rule on depression is the right answer. Question number 17. Mongolian sports is usually seen at region. Option A, cervicofacial, B, lumbosacral, C. Deltoid D. Thoraco Lumbar Mongolian sports is usually seen at lumbosacral region. These are bluish patches seen over this area in children. Mongolian spots are seen in lumbosacral region. Question number 18. Multiple punched out lesions on skull x-ray is found in Option A, Down syndrome, B, multiple myeloma, 
C. Hyperparathyroidism. D. All the above. Multiple punch out lesions on skull x ray is found in the right answer is multiple myeloma. Question number 19. Asherman syndrome is the formation of scar tissue in the uterine cavity. The problem most often develops after uterine surgery. The diagnostic test for this would be option A hysterosalpingography, B hysterosonogram, C transvaginal ultrasound sonography, and D is all the above. What is the diagnostic test used for Asherman syndrome? The right answer here all the above like hysterosalpingography, hysterosonogram, transvaginal ultrasound sonography all are used in the diagnosis of Asherman syndrome. Question number 20. All of the following are features of prematurity in a neonate except option A, no creases and sole, B, ab abundant lanago, C, thick air cartilage, D, empty scrotum. So, for finding the prematurity, you should see the three things like uh, no uh, creases on sole, abundant lanago and empty scrotum. But there will be thin air cartilage. So, the right answer is thick air cartilage is not the future of prematurity in a neonate. In place of thick cartilage, if it is thin air cartilage, then it is right answer. 21. Sperm fuses with option A, ovum, B, primary follicles, C, secondary oocyte, D, zygote. Sperm fuses with, the right answer is secondary oocyte. Question number 22. The most preferred approach for pituitary surgery at present time is option A, transcranial approach, B, transrethmoidal approach, C, transphenoidal approach, and D is transcalosal approach. The right answer is transphenoidal approach is the correct answer. Question number 23. Match the following. You have two options like options A which contains the cells, option B which contains the product of those cells, secretions or product of those cells. You should match with this. Option A for alpha cells there is pancreatic polypeptides, beta cells, somatostatin, delta cells, glucagon, epsilon cells, insulin, gamma cells, Gerlin. Now match this. Let's see the right answer. Alpha cells secretes glucagon, beta cells secrete insulin, delta cells secretes somatostatin, epsilon secretes gerlin, and gamma cells produce pancreatic polypeptides. So this is how we can match correctly. Question number 24. Assuming the menstruation cycle length 32 days and last menopausal date was June 10, which of the following is most likely due date? March 12, March 17, March 27, March 21. The correct answer is March 17. Question number 25. The sex can be identified by option A. 12 weeks of pregnancy, B, 14 weeks of pregnancy, C, 16 weeks of pregnancy, and D is about 24 weeks. Sex is determined at 14 weeks of pregnancy. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 26. The HELP syndrome. In HELP syndrome, what is LP stands for? Option A, lack of pulse, B, low pressure, C, low platelet count, D, light pain. LP stands for 
in help syndrome yes low platelet count option c is the correct answer question number 27 keratitis is the inflammation of option a retina b lens c cornea d middle ear keratitis is the inflammation of cornea 27 next question is 27 Stur white stones are made up of stru white stones are made up of option a calcium sodium magnesium b calcium potassium magnesium c magnesium ammonium phosphate d magnesium ammonium calcium the right answer guess it stru white stones are made up of magnesium ammonium phosphate question number stroid stones are one of the type of kidney stones question number 28 which position is contraindicated for the patient who has dyspnea option a orthopenic position b cardiac position c fowler's position and d is trendlenberg position the right answer is trendlenberg position is not given for patient who is having breathing difficulty 29 amount of estrogen in molar d option a 30 milligram b 10 milligram c 50 milligram and d 80 milligram the amount of estrogen present in molar d is 30 milligram question number 30 fever with relative bradycardia is seen in option a malaria b typhoid C. Filaria, D. Diphtheria. Fever with relative bradycardia is seen in option B. Typhoid fever. Question number 31. Commonest complication of measles in children is option A. Septicemia, B. Otitis media, C. Meningitis, D. Bronchonemia, pneumonia. The commonest complication of Missiles in children is otitis media. Option B, otitis media. Question number 32. What are the five cardinal signs of inflammation? Option A, rubor, calor, tumor, dolor, functional lesia. Functional lesia. B, rubor, cular, tumor, dolor, Functionalasia. C. Rubor. Sorry. Rubor. Calor. Thinner. Diner. Functionalasia. D. Rubor. Cular. Thinner. Diner. Functionalasia. The five cardinal signs of inflammation is option A. Rubor. Means redness. Calor. Tumor, dolor, functional lacia, decreased function activity. Tumor is swelling, calor, pain, rubor, redness. Question number 33. Which is not cognitive dysfunction? Option A, overgeneralization. B, thought block. C, catastrophic thinking. D is arbitrary inference, which is not the cognitive dysfunction. The right answer is thought block is not a cognitive dysfunction. It is a uh, whereas all other things like overgeneralization, catastrophic thinking, arbitrary inference have the uh, disturbance in the process of thinking. Whereas in thought block, the uh, there is abnormal abnormality. The patient cannot think. So, this is not a cognitive dysfunction. Question number 34. Protein requirement for a pregnant woman is option A. Daily protein requirement for pregnant women is option A. 50 grams, B. 55, C. 60, D. 70 grams. The right answer is at least uh, 75, 70 to 75 gram minimum requirement for the pregnant women the protein question number 35 in 
resomal the amount of glucose is in resomal one of the type of advanced oral rehydration solution the amount of glucose present is option a 45 millimole per liter b 40 millimole per liter c is 70 millimole per liter and d is 125 millimole per liter the right answer is option D, 125 millimole per liter. Keep in mind, among all the compositions, the glucose composition is very high in Rosomol, 125 millimole per liter. Question number 36. A psychotic patient who believes that he is God and rules all the universe is experiencing which type of uh, delusion? Option A, somatic, B, grandiose, C, persecutory, D is nihilistic. The right answer is grandiose delusion. Option B. 37. ICDS program was started in which year? Option A. 1975. B. 1978. C. 1980. And D is 1983. The right answer is 1975. Question number 38. A nurse is showing a patient how to use crutches at home and instructing his mother about how to change his bandages at this time the nurse's primary role acting is option a communicator b researcher c teacher and d liaison officer the right answer is the nurse acts like a teacher question number 39 what is the most effective method to identify yearly breast cancer lumps Option A, mammograms every three years. B, annual health checkups. C, is monthly breast examination. D, is ultrasound done every three years. The right answer here, monthly breast examination assessment done by a woman can easily identify any type of breast cancer related lumps. Question number 40. The most common symptom of hyperthyroidism is option A, diaphoresis, B, dry little hair, C, menorrhagia, and D will be cold sensitivity. In hyperthyroidism, the most common symptom will be diaphoresis, excessive amount of sweating. Question number 41, activated partial thromboplastin time test, APTT test. Measures clotting ability of factors such as option A, 8th, 9th, 10th, 12th. Options B, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 12th. Sorry, 11th and 12th. Option C, 8th, 9th, 11th, 12th. D is 8th, 10th, 11th, 12th. The right answer is the factors 8th. 9th, 11th, 12th are measured by using APTT test. Question number 42. Nurse patient ratio in ICU should be for 24 hours. Option A, 1 is to 3, B, 1 is to 1, C, 1 is to 2, and D is 2 is to 1. According to the recommendation of WHO and American Nurses Association, in ICU for 24 hours, the nurse patient ratio should be B1 is to 1. Question number 43. The amount of blood drawn from a donor when one unit is donated. Option A 100 ml, B 300 ml, C 350 ml, D is 400 ml. The right answer is 350 ml is drawn from the donor when they donate the blood at a single time that is one unit question number 44 spinal anesthesia is commonly obtained using dash percentage lidocaine within dash percentage dextrose spinal anesthesia is commonly obtained using dash percentage uh, lidocaine within dash percentage dextrose option a five percentage Lidocaine and 2% dextrose, B 10% lidocaine and 5% dextrose, C 5% lidocaine and 7.5% dextrose, and D will be 1% lidocaine and 5% dextrose. The right answer is option C 5% lidocaine within 
7.5 percentage dextrose is obtained when giving spinal anesthesia. Question number 45. The cause of pruritus in chronic kidney disease patient is due to option A hyperkalemia, B uremia, C hypophosphatemia, sorry hyperphosphatemia, D is hypernatremia. The pruritus in chronic kidney disease is due to excessive amount of uh, urea in the blood that is uremia 46 the fire breaks out in your ward the first action you take is option a call 101 fire brigade b shut off the oxygen supply c is do use the fire with the fire extinguisher and d is evacuate the patients from the ward when the fire breaks out in your ward, the first action you should do be calm and shut off the oxygen supply. Oxygen supply in the pipes can increase the fire level. Then you will try to ship the patient safely. Question number 47. The nurse reviews a client's laboratory report and notes that the client's serum phosphorus Phosphate level is 1.8 milligram per deciliter, that is 0.45 millimole per liter, which condition most likely cause this serum phosphorus level? Option A, malnutrition, B, renal insufficiency, C is hyperparathyroidism and D is tumor lysine syndrome. The right answer is malnutrition cause low phosphorus level. Question number 48. India is the first country under the 2012 WHO neglected tropical disease roadmap to eliminate option A, guinea worm, B, leprosy, C, os, D, smallpox. So which disease was eradicated from India in the year 2012? The right answer is option C, yours. Question number 49. Psychotic symptoms are the side effect of which anti tubercular drugs? Psychotic symptoms are the side effects of which anti tubercular drugs? The right option A cycloserine, B rifampicin, C pyrazinamide, D ethambutol. The correct answer is cycloserine induces psychotic symptoms in patient taking anti tubercular drugs. Question number 50. In molar pregnancy, the level of human chorionic gonadotrophin will be option A normal, B abnormally higher, B abnormally lower, C is fluctuating. The human chorionic gonadotrophin level in patient uh, having molar pregnancy will be option B abnormally higher. 50 questions we have seen. This is the end of part 1. Part 2 is coming soon. Thanks for watching this video. Coming soon, tomorrow we will upload the part 2, another 50 questions. Please subscribe to Satu Carry Online Nursing channel. Like this video. Comment about this video in the comment box below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.